Tragedy befell the st You knock it off. I'm trying to. I'm sorry. Wait, are you still. Are you sure me right now? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be in voice for this shit. You ass! Oh, I was about to say, which track gonna rip the page out? <laughs> which track? <laughs> I was waiting for that to happen. <laughs> what thoughts all were gonna happen? <laughs> Fucking hell. Ahem. <clears throat> Today. I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town resided. It was a town where all people lived, very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shaked, and it was as the very world was coming to an end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tale. And when the town site no longer had relics of its past, People gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Roqueport. This is where it begins, in the sea town of Roqueport, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. <laughs> In front of oh, Can you imagine? oh we just dispatched Wario. <laughs> he hung on the noose like a like a rotten onion, a rotten piece of garlic. Everyone who has seen, uh, already played Paper Mario at this point, so I think they know the intro. <laughs> I was, no, I'm not kidding. The way that looked, I was waiting for Shrek to rip a page out. Alright. If some of y'all noticed the, uh, file already having time on it that's I was playing it on, on my off time but I want to play this still for you guys mail call Hey bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I don't think I can do a good Luigi voice. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday. 
turning in Mushroom Kingdom. You forgot the... Oh, uh, the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was at such a part and I got an old merchant in a town called Rowport. But then they could, it wouldn't be too difficult for me to try to find that treasure all by myself. I thought they were coming. I thought you would have... Oh, I, I screwed up already. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I concluded the map with this letter. So please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at a photo point. That means you must come. Pe kisses, Peach. <laughs> Wait a minute, kisses. I didn't see kisses on there. I know. I was just saying that. <laughs> well, well, what you know, it's too. There is a wizard old man here with the letter. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 wrong franchise. <laughs> You're copyright. Prologue. The rogues welcome. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look. That's Rogueport. <laughs> you see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Who's that? The sea captain. <clears throat> prepare to disembark. We have arrived at Rogueport. Wow, that was a very strong time. I must apologize, sir. Our rifle was delayed just a bit by a rough weather. <laughs> you just. What? Did you just say I'll take my horse? <laughs> I need something to drink because I think that's why uh, I'm not able to do my voices that well right now.
you were holding frozen ground beef, so it makes sense why your hand is cold. Let's get back to this. Yeah, save. Let's go. Maybe book nurses don't play the. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking. So be a little student and tell us what you know right now. Never! I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew! You sound unbelievable. <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you come in, Lord Crump, we're on it. N no, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream. Really? Wait. I can do that first. <clears throat> like I'd go anywhere with smelly loose like you. <laughs> Not likely. What? What do you think you're, you're doing, chump? You, you think you can screw up my plans? Hmm? I can do it better. I know you can because you've had experience with this. Yep. <laughs> I just I just do this shit for fun. Who, who sounds better, me or Michael? Book and <laughs> Can you comment? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Battle time, Mr. Man. Wait, what? What? Mr. Man? Because she doesn't know his name yet. Okay, you got a couple decent shots in, I'll give you that. For you, but unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Sneak out of here. What are you saying? Yep. Stop. Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Mark Johnson. Where the hell see Mark Johnson? Wait, what'd you say? I, I, I saw him on the outside, so I was like, Mike Johnson! Anyone see Mike Johnson? Johnson! Where's Mike Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interesting. This is, my, this is our natural high. We, we laugh at everything. Yep. Wow, 
missed it. Totally. totally saved. <laughs> I just gotta give you a little reward. Oh god, no. No. Oh. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> Kiss, uh, kiss on the cheek, though. The name's Goombella. I went to the University of Goom. Of Goom, yeah. Goom. I thought it was Goom. So, uh, who are you? Thumbs up, man? I mean, Mario? <laughs> Thumbs up, man. Oh, wait, no. Vault Boy? I mean, Mario? <laughs> Vault Boy! Because <laughs> he did that, I was like, oh, Vault Boy. Yep. We come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Okay, oh, Doc Brown. I'm in the wrong movie. <laughs> wrong set. <laughs> Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Ho oh, ho! Oh. So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? That hit man's news. Oh, you want to see a hand, you see? Okay, step right up. That's how I have Get back to making this freaking. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Damn. Mm -hmm. ah. The way you look, like, I just pointed out the freaking news again. I was like, what? <laughs> he sent you a letter and a treasure map? And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing. Well, that's the thing, though, Richard, is uh, they changed it to a thumbs up in the remake. Because in the original, uh, it was a different gesture, and people nowadays find that a bit offensive. What? Due to, uh, due to history we know of. What was it? No case sign? Thumb, uh, no finger? No. What? Mario would do the gest uh, gesture of being like, Hey! like that scene from uh, the third uh, Navy Gun movie where he gives the guy the gun <laughs> and return for the uh, the bomb and gave him the gun. The swap that was not right and everyone just goes. Uh, it, it, people would always make the joke Mario doing that gesture and being like, wait, is he from Ger Is he a secretly no, from uh, Germany or something? He was part of the black shirts. If you know your history, you know what the black shirts were. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, but they were also wimps. And we know for a fact Mario is far from being a wimp. I'm going to say he's an Italian American. So he's probably part of, probably part of the mob. Plumbing is just his side gig. I mean, apparently from. What I've experienced, he does have to deal with a, a gang mob of piantas in here later. This is another thing I have to deal with the actual mob in real life. Back in my world. They extort me for everything. Yeah. That is why I'm here, to collect the coins, to pay my debt to them. 
Yeah, way too real right there. Oh, I say, oh, I say. He said that twice. Because he's old, what do you expect? He's, he's basically their version of Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf. <laughs> Mushroom team is Papa Smurf. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. So Toad is a type of, uh, is a mushroom team with a variant of a Smurf. Think about it. Oh Jesus Christ! Which Smurf would he be? <laughs> would he be? Yeah, I would say Adventure Smurf. Oh, who Mario? No, no, Toad. Because Toad looks like every single uh, well Toad it'll... from Mushroom <laughs> Kingdom, but he is unique because he's like different than them. Well, it depends on which version of that Toad you're talking about. Are you talking about the movie one with Keegan-Michael Key? Aren't they all the same, practically, at this point? Wait, I just realized. Now you put that in my head. What? That means Toad had his Smurf at. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. That means she's the only Toad at. <laughs> well, I mean, there's multiple female Toads, but Toad at is the main one that everybody thinks about. You know what I mean? Oh, so instead of the Smurf, they're the Snorks. The, the what? <laughs> You never heard of the Snorks? Jesus Christ. Because Smurfs only have one female. Snorks had multiple. Yeah, why was that, that the frickin' Smurfs only had one female? I never understood that. Well, story, lore-wise, uh, Gargamel created Smurfette to divert the uh, Smurfs and distract them. So that he could steal, you know, all the Smurfs and Smurf fairies and whatnot. But, uh, it... When she grew to understand them, she became part of the group and helped them against Gargamel. Mm. Yeah. She was a, a construct of Gargamel's magic. Got it. Because apparently from a popper smurf said, uh, there is, uh, there, they can't have a female smurf physical. You know what I mean? Hmm. I mean, the only way they could is through a construct. Got it. Which was weird. Makes you wonder, how can they have Smurfs if there's no Smurf vets? I think people turn into Smurfs. Cloning process. Yeah. They just clone them from Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf's the, the alpha genome. Oh no. <laughs> he just, like, takes a, like, incredibly a hair from his beard and drops into brown and grows into a Smurf. And Papa Smurf has all the, has all the emotion types and all that stuff. It has all the different characteristics so that each one that grows turns has a specific one. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. I have <laughs> you did a little bit, but it's fine. Oh, the fact that... Okay, you're hoping the alarm doesn't go off 
We've mentioned it multiple times before. Damn it. <laughs> As you shall see. We've had, and this is tech, ours is technically considered the oldest apartment in the complex, so. Yep. Can't be done. It can't be helped with. The reason why I came here was to study on that very subject. Now that's dark brown. The hair all up. Yeah, that is true. Just Doc Brown needs the glasses now. Nah, I don't think he needs the glasses. <laughs> He's a... I can't see you, but you even though I'm wearing glasses. Oh, they're Coke bottle glasses. I'm sorry. Wrong pair. Yeah, those are Coke bottle glasses, man. Right? You know, like the ones that you see from those stereotypical nerds that you see in movies? Yeah. The ones that are big and thick. Uh, that or the, one, or the ones you see when you're playing bully. Oh, I need to play that game again after this. Mm -hmm. After you stream, I'm gonna play some bully. Yeah, and now that I just said that. To find the Church of Yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. That's how the old saying goes. And with a rhyme that solid, it must be true. Sewage pipes. Why is it like out in out in the open, looking like a well? I mean, what if someone tries you, to draw you, water from that? I mean, <laughs> you can ask the same thing about all the other pipes layered around the entire world. Oh, there. I know, but can you imagine someone thinking it's a well and they just put in a, a, a well bucket down there to fetch some water? Oof. Imagine they're surprised they get get. Milk chocolate. Yep. Yeah. It'd be like that scene from Epic Movie. <laughs> That's actually the sewage line, yes. We're actually venturing the sewage line? What is this, Stalingrad 1942? That's a Call of Duty Fine Star reference, in case anyone's wondering. <laughs> Hey, that was one of my favorite Call of Duty games. True. Because the stories were good. Though I do have to admit the British campaign was really short. Like mm -hmm. four missions. 
think it was only in, Af in North Africa, too. It's safe there, there. Well, what do you expect? There's Goomba crap everywhere. Question, what is a Goomba? That's a good question. Are they like fa failed experiments to like recreate toads? Because they do look like one. Or is it a slice of uh, toad DNA and whatever Bowser is? Yeah, Koopas. Koopa DNA. Yeah, that is true. They're better looking than the Goombas from the original live action Mario. Oh, Jesus Christ, don't remind me. That's. What sucks is some, some of my favorite actors were in that movie, and that movie sucked. Wasn't that also the introduction of the character Daisy? Because that wasn't Peach. Uh, what year did that movie come out again? 1990. 90. Then yes, because Daisy was not in a mainline, uh, was not in a Mario game until Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. Makes it makes sense because that character falls in love with uh, Luigi in the movie, and Daisy and Luigi are a thing. Yeah. Okay, Mickey. The way he looks is just... I... <laughs> Yahoo! There we go! <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. That sounds close to uh... Doesn't Pinky usually have something like that? NARF! Who? Pinky? Like Pinky in the brain? <laughs> that that is in that was a memory dug up from the vault. Well then Ah, uh, WB Kids was a, was the thing to, to Well that and also uh I recently just uh saw a couple of YouTube shorts of like Jim Cummings and uh a couple of the other voice actors having fun like saying their lines in their different voices because it was uh so you had one where it was goofy pinky and then poo oh i guess i forgot about my money what is piggly i'm trying to remember where to go oh that's right that's right i have to go over here in case people forgot we already played this yeah, yeah, I mentioned that. I got too excited. I got too excited. I have a, a spare file where I can play it on my own time, but this file specifically I have right here playing now is going to be for you guys. Downward into the sewers and ended up in God of War. 
That's the way it looks. Mm. Or it's gonna be like that episode from uh, Futurama where they go into the sewers and find old Manhattan. Or old New York. And everybody's a mutant down there. Oh, yeah. Leela's true origins. Oh, that's her true origins? Yeah. I didn't know that. Turns out she was uh, a child of two mutants. Oh. Hence why they could not find anyone out in the galaxy that represents her. Like, you remember that episode where they thought they found her original homeworld? Uh. Turns out it was just a. Uh, uh, the ruse just so he can, like, get girl. Like, the guy was trying to. Hit on create, her? Create a harem for himself. Oh, yeah. Because he was a shapeshifter. I do like the Married with Children reference in that episode. <laughs> oh, really? If I remember correctly, that was the, the guy who was voicing the shapeshifter was uh, uh, Ed O'Neill, I think. Which makes total sense because uh, Kathy Sagal is the voice of uh, That's the funny. <laughs> That's a spin yet. Oh, wait, what did I say? It certainly looks to me nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, defense is 0. In other words, you can kick its ass with one punch. Yeah, it, 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 this thing is super fast. Oh, so it's rapid spin attack from Pokemon. Embodied into an actual creature. <laughs> True. I don't understand the point of rapid spin. I forgot what it was. What, what point that was before? Uh, I think it's like you can deal damage to the opponent, but also it can clear up any like stealth rock and oh. spikes. Didn't also it was supposed to clear up mist as well? I don't think so. No, the spikes I wouldn't really worry too much about. It's only if it's the toxic spikes though. That's when I worry. Because they give the, the, you know, there's two types of poison, right? There's the regular poison, and then there's the toxic poison. Regular poison, you know, the damage over time. Toxic, toxic poison, poison, it increases. Damage. It increases over time. It increases it's, over time. uh, when you use the toxic spikes, if you just do one layer, it's normal poison, but if you do it twice or more, then it's the toxic. toxic. That's why, uh, whenever someone puts down toxic spikes, I want to make sure if I'm going to be using someone that has rapid spin, I need to make sure they are a steel type. Or like, like Fortri uh, Fortress. Or just Sandshrew. Or Sandslash, because they both know rapid spin. Fortress, yeah, Fortress or Sandshrew, yeah. Slash, shrunk, slash, sand slash. Blech. Sand slash. Both ver uh, Cantonian and Alolan versions. Uh, best to go with the Alolan version since that one's part steel, so we won't get hit with the freaking poison. True. But also, you used to, it was your first in your party, you just immediately used Rapid Spin, and boom. No worries. Yeah. Wait, I thought uh, poison doesn't affect ground types. No, it's only. Poison only does not affect poison types itself and steel. Okay, so it only does half damage with ground types, if I remember correctly. No, it's normal damage to everyone. You would think it would be half damage with ground type. The only, the only or Pokemon. Rock type. No, it's normal damage to all typings, and also the only Pokemon that's able to poison a poison or steel type Pokemon is Salazzle, because it's the ability corrosion. In other words, the female Salazzle. Mm -hmm. The yeah. Which is man, I don't, that's one of the few Pokemon that I don't like catching because trying to evolve it's a bitch. The, it, it's like the Alolan version of Vespaquin. Oh, don't. That was just as bad. If you played uh, Diamond Pearl Platinum, it uh, getting a combi was hard enough as it is because you have to use the the honey trees. And in order for that to work, you have to slather in honey, 
play for about maybe an hour or one in-game day or something like that, come back and you'll be shaking, and there will be maybe a 25% chance it's a cone beat. But even then, it's a 50-50, uh, no, it's a 75-25 chance that it, uh, it's going to be a guy cone beat over a girl cone beat. And so the chances of having a girl cone beat are really hard to get. Yeah. So but when I got it, same thing with Burmy too. Trying to get the male Burmy to, so you can get Motham? Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. But yeah, but the uh, odds are in reverse for Burmy. It's 75% chance it's a girl over a guy. Yeah. The modern crossing drums. Guys, Mom's not that good. Yeah. Most of those are the heel order, defense order, and back order. Those are pretty OP. Oh, yeah. Uh, are those, uh. Those are all physical or special attacks, or are they status? Uh. Heel, heel order is a status of, uh, only because it's healing your po healing aspect one. Oh, and all of your Pokemon. Okay. Defense order boosts your defense. Attack order is an attack order. I Meaning they, they, you have a bunch of combies attacking the opponent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ready? Yep. All right. You want your two? Thank you. Also, give me one second real quick, guys. I need to do something real quick. No, we we never knew. Because it was a guy. Then you got the mic off, right? 
Micah's back on. So, uh, yeah, the, the whole thing where like pig, piglet's a guy or a girl. No one knows about that for sure. You never figure that out. <laughs> no. Enjoy. What? Alright, thank you. Here we go. Location of a crystal star has been recorded to your map. <clears throat> so learned a special move, you can now use Sweet Treat. Also to anyone wondering, uh, I plan to snip it down the stream completely and I like eat and for the videos like separate chapters like each each chapter is its own separate video and the and like like i say for instance uh the, this prologue right here it's gonna be its own video and then it's gonna move on to chapter one the only thing i'll include for sure is uh Like, when it comes to when I finish that chapter, like, the video doesn't end there. It's also going to include, like, the Peach and Bowser section. And then, once it goes back to Mario, I'll let the first bits of dialogue play out. And then that video will end. And then the next one will begin. time in my research okay fine so we'll go there does anybody know how to get there or what I'm pretty certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows if you could just find that you'd get there instantly pipe travel is efficient say by the way Mario I'm curious how did you get that map anyway This wouldn't be her, would it? But perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, if there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. Indeed, with there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. It's a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, 
I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. I doubt his trouble to Goomba like he could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, we're off. Give it your best. Well, then, allow me to give you both the proper farewell. The light we saw is shining on you. Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it. Well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? I know how to do it, so I'm fine. This is very important. You better listen. I mean it. Are you ready to listen? I'm good. Hmm, absolutely sure. Well, alright, just remember in battle, the bigger your audience, the better. Scar out there, take this with you. The power smash. Oh, good. I'm good. Yep. I, there we go. Get in the pipe. Oh, uh, give me that. So I need to smack the tentacle first, I think. It's been a good while since that last one. Just up and whack someone's tootsies like that. Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy. He's in a world of hurt. Look at him and taste of the old tentacle trample. You remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change your attack order. HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Yeah. 
That mustache. You're thinking that tastes good, aren't you? Admit it. Yeah, you want to snack on these tentacles, don't you? I will say, uh, I've heard a lot of good things about squid ink pasta. Twelve, one, and zero. Goes that tentacle. Oh, Clear bonus. Nice. 